Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, make a video and apologize that I haven't been updating lately, but um, it's just been because I've been tapering down the volume of my workouts, tapering down the intensity so I can go into this meat fresh. Uh, it's going to be this upcoming Saturday. I got a bunch of my friends coming out, got my family coming down, and I'm super excited for it. And I just wanted to talk about everybody everybody dreads that first meet uh they're just terrified oh i'm not strong enough yet uh i'm not gonna place i'm not gonna do well but i i'm excited because i have a i have a chance at, do, at doing pretty well at this competition but even if i didn't i would go compete because ever since i uh did my first powerlifting competition my freshman year of high school they're, the, they're some of the most fun experiences you can have, and you're not you're not out there competing against one another. You're you're not out there looking at looking at a guy across from you and being like, man, I'm I'm gonna beat him. I I am not friends with him. He is my enemy. He is my opponent. You're both lifters, and the only person you're competing against is yourself. Just go. I'm just gonna go out there, have fun. I'm super excited, and that's what a new lifter has to do as well. Just get pumped up, and and think about. Don't think about it as you're competing against all these other people, and you're you're going to be struggling out there in front of a crowd of hundreds of people. Go out there and think of it as all right. I'm in a competition with myself. Let's see how far I can push my body. Let's see how 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 many pounds. I can add to my total. Let's see how many pounds I can add to my PRs. Let's use this adrenaline-filled, exciting environment to add some poundages to my total. See if I can't just get psyched up enough that I pull a 50-pound PR, that I can put 50 pounds more on my back than I ever have before and squat it no problem. It's, it's just about using that adrenaline, using that intensity, and seeing everybody else and accepting their encouragement and realizing that it is encouragement and just excelling in that environment taking taking that that intense and sort of foreign environment at at first and turning it into into a place where you wouldn't rather i be, you wouldn't rather be anywhere else like i wouldn't be i wouldn't rather be anywhere else than at a powerlifting competition or a weightlifting competition because you have no real opponents there. You you have guys that you want you want to prove to them that you're more you're stronger than them or you're more mentally tough than them. But the only real opponent is yourself, and that's the way you got to think of it. And that's how I'm thinking of it. My deadlifts aren't where they want aren't where I want them to be right now. Just because I essentially went way too intense on them and I peaked for a, a competition like a month out from my competition so i've just been taking it real easy with it with those but i'm gonna be content no matter what i'm i'm hoping for some prs this meet but if it doesn't happen it's a learning experience it's just it's just more experience that i can add on to my uh lifting resume and i can take it learn from it and excel in the future because of it and that's what uh lifters need to realize that's what you guys as inexperienced lifters and that's what even experienced lifters need to realize sometimes too because some guys uh out like just psych themselves out of it and put so much pressure on oh man i had a bad day in the gym uh i i i don't think i'm gonna do well at this meet i i had this bad day and then the uh the other day i ate something bad so i my stomach was upset going into the gym and then that was a bad day too so oh shit i don't know what i'm gonna do but you just gotta take it easy i'm calm right now i'm happy i'm there's there's stress in my life there's struggles in my life there's struggles in my family's lives but they're gonna be down here i'm going to bob evans afterwards i'm gonna get like two steaks and about enough eggs to supply a chicken farm but uh it's gonna be a good time and i'm not gonna let you guys down i'm not gonna let my family down and i'm not gonna let myself down uh today was squat day just did 
uh, two, or no, I did three singles at 315, and then tomorrow I'm just going to go in and bench, do three singles at 225, just to uh, prime that central nervous system, and then rest, rest, rest going into the weekend, and this Saturday you guys better be ready for a, uh, a big meat recap video with my thoughts and with my lifts, and hopefully showcasing my friends and family and my uh, fantastic meal that I'm ever so excited for afterwards. Alright, it's been a fun ride with you guys. I'm glad uh, I'm glad everybody followed this if you did follow it. Um, but I hope you guys want to join me on the journey afterwards because I'm going to be going on it and it's up to you guys if you want to be there with me. So uh, I'll see you guys next Saturday. Peace. Thanks for the views. Uh, like, share, comment, anything. If you have video suggestions, put them up here. Uh, anything, any type of critique, I don't care. Um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks.